So uh, just kind of again tell us, you know, what what is it that's bringing this change on here for residents? What, what's brought what's brought our attention is the continued contamination. Number one, that's coming into this site. Uh, it's not just recyclable materials. There's anything from uh, uh, fur furniture, uh, child's plastic toys, uh, construction material, a lot of that type of stuff, coming in dumped dumped in with the uh, recyclables, and what it does is it contaminates the entire load. Another issue of concern is we're seeing a lot of commercial as well as material coming in that is not from the village of Weston residents. Yeah, because uh, first off, it, this is a spot that's just for residents, correct? Just for the village of Weston residents, correct. Yep, and, and you're, I mean, you, I think you said you, you sat out there and you kind of kept track and you, and you see folks from all over the place that are coming in and using this, right? Correct. So then, uh, just kind of tell us, I mean, what what should people be dropping off at this site? People should be dropping off uh, clean, clean plastics, uh, food and beverage containers, mark number one and number two, uh, uh, tin cans, aluminum cans, uh, newspaper, cardboard, and pa paper. Yeah, basically anything that goes in your single stream, right? Yep, anything that goes in the single stream bit in your cart can be dropped off at the site. So, and... and uh, so you're seeing the contamination there and it's kind of brought to your attention because obviously this is something that you know it either causes you to throw the whole works out or it, I'm sure it causes you some hours of manpower trying to separate it correct well the, I think one of the biggest issues is it's an unmanned site for the majority of the day you know at nighttime Saturdays and Sundays and that's when we see a lot of the contamination currently coming in so then I mean how do you propose then or how, how did you propose that the village solve this and, and what are you going to do going forward? The one thing that we brought up tonight was we want to have the vi village of residents check in, check in with our scale operator, show proof of residency, and then, we'll, and then they will proceed on to dump their, their uh, material at the drop-off site. So that this is no longer going to be a 24-hour operation? Correct. Uh, and then... When is that going to start? Or, uh, I guess the past here tonight has to pass the board, and it'll start sometime. It thereafter. sounded right? like sometime this fall. Yeah. So then, I mean, for those that you know, you're going through this process, you're wondering what you do with this. I mean, obviously, if you're a village resident and you've got questions about how to throw something away, you you I mean welcome them to stop in and and you tell them how to handle that, right? Correct. So correct. Yeah, that's another. Is that kind of another thing that you're hoping people Ed, take? Education from this? is key. Yeah. And ho hopefully the material coming in is, is in the proper state to be delivered. But, but if it's not, you, you know, that's, that, that's when we'll ed ed educate them at that time and let, let, let them know then what, what can and can, cannot be thrown, thrown away. So then uh, is there anything else that you'd like residents to know, you know about this site, about how to fix this going forward and, and make it so that obviously this isn't, uh, this isn't an, an issue in the future? Just make sure that your stuff is clean. <laughs> Wash it out. You know, try try to el eliminate as much food food waste as you can. Absolutely. Anything else that we should know then about this uh, about this change before we let you go? I don't think so. Not All good. right. Thank awesome. you. We will stop on that one, and we will 